Okay, so hi guys. Um, for this video, ang discuss naman natin ay real and imaginary numbers. Okay, so dito mayroon tayong uh, real numbers and imaginary numbers. Yung mga dinis-discuss natin ng mga nakarang video, they all fall under real numbers. Okay. So dito real numbers, yung symbol na is yung R. Okay, so real numbers can be found in the number line. Hindi lang katulad nung sa integers na ang nakikita natin ay yung mga um, walang decimal or walang fractions. So dito, kasali din yung mga nasa gitna ng mga numbers na yon Fractions and decimals. Okay? So it stretches from left to right. Alam naman natin yung from number line. So from negative infinity to a positive infinity. So ano ba yung mga sample ng uh, real numbers? So... Sample of real numbers, si one third. So one third na discuss na natin to last time. One third is rational. So a real number din siya. 8.5 is rational. So real number siya. Negative 10. Negative 10 is a negative integer. Diba? So that's a real number. Square root of 7 is an irrational number. Pero real pa rin. Okay? So... Next would be yung imaginary numbers. So, imaginary numbers do not exist on a normal number line. These are characterized by i. So, ano ba si i? i is equal to square root of negative 1. Alam naman natin na ang square root ng... Uh, ang nalalagay lang datin dapat sa loob ng square root ay mga positive numbers. Or yung overall nakakalabasan ng nasa loob ng square root should be positive. So... Sa math, gumawa tayo ng square root of negative 1 to account for these numbers or yung imaginary. So, later on sa mga ibang topics, lalabas si i. So, magagamit natin yan to simplify yung mga solutions or yung mga sagot natin. Okay? So, example of imaginary numbers. Actually, yung mga sample natin kanina, lalagyan mo lang ng i, imaginary number na sila. Okay? So, hindi na sila real number. So, katulad nyan, 1 third i, 8.5 i, negative 10 i, i square root of 7. So, dito sa pagsulat, si i lang, uh, sa square root of 7 lang, naiiba si i. So, nasa harapan siya. Ang problem kasi doon, if pag nilagay mo siya sa right side, maaari mapagkamalan na nasa loob pa rin siya ng square root. Okay? So, balikan na din yung 3 natin. Falling under our branch, classify a number as part of that group. Okay? So, in-note ko lang na si negative dito ay negative integer. Pwede ka kasi magkaroon ng negative non-integer, negative irrational numbers. Meron ka rin negative sa imaginary numbers. So, be careful lang that. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, si 0 is under a whole number. So, 0 would mean na integer din siya. 0 is also a rational number. 0 is a real number. And so on. So, ganun din si whole number. Whole number is rational. So, if you fall under that classification, yung mga nasa taas, classified ka, ka rin as that way. Pero si 0, hindi siya an integer. Okay? Si natural or counting number, hindi siya irrational. So, ganun lang naman yun. So, basically, yun lang naman for classification of numbers. So, thank you for listening. Sana may natutunan kayo.